Okay, here is an example of uh, shear strain and Hooke's law and how actually shear strain, average shear strain is related to average shear stress uh, by Hooke's law. So the objective here is that we have this polymer block which has a width of 100 millimeters. So actually the width of this, if we give it a width, is 100 millimeters. So this is 100. So this is the upper plate. So actually two plates, uh, an upper plate and a lower plate are kind of sandwiching this polymer block. The lower plate is fixed, but the upper plate can move due to this applied load and it can distort the block. So what's given is that if due to this two kilonewton load, the upper plate, which is actually free to move and distort the block, moves a distance of say two millimeters to the right we want to find actually the one of the properties of this polymer block which is modulus of rigidity or shear modulus which is denoted by letter g so that's the objective finding the uh, the shear modulus so the way we're going to look for that shear modulus is that we Start with the uh, the Hooke's law, which is basically saying shear stress tau is related to shear strain gamma by this relation, which is known as Hooke's law, tau equal g gamma. And if you want to find g, we need to calculate shear stress tau and then shear strain gamma. So let's go ahead and find shear stress first. So tau, shear stress is defined as the shear load divided by shear area. So this is usually is denoted by A sub S shear area. So here, you see this is the upper plate, which is 100 by 400. Okay, if so if the applied load is here, 2 kilonewton, there would be a shear load, which is resisting that. So here, P, this is the P right here, 2 kilonewton, is equal to V. Therefore, P and V are the same, so this would be P divided by the shear area. So tau is equal to 2000 newtons divided by area and the shear area is actually this area here. So it's 100 by 400 so convert that to meters 0.1 by 0.4 and that meter by meter would be meter squared. So now newton per meter square would be Pascal. So that comes out to be 50,000 Pascal. So that's the shear stress that is uh, acting on that polymer block uh, between that upper plate and the polymer block. Now, shear strain is going to be defined based on the distortion that this load is going to create this in this block. Now, two millimeter here refers to, and I have to exaggerate here, is how this guy is going to get distorted like this. So this rectangle turns into a kind of like a parallelogram. And if I could show you a better picture here, if this is our 200 millimeters here, this is the two millimeters that was given. And this angle here actually, the angular distortion is gamma. So we know that for small angles, tangent of an angle like gamma is the same as the angle itself in radians. And actually we want the unit of gamma to be in radians. If you calculate that angle in degrees, it has to be converted to radians. So what is uh, tangent? Tangent is opposite, which is two divided by adjacent, which is 200. So it happens to be 0 0.01 millimeters over millimeters, that's radians. So now we can refer to this equation here, tau equal g gamma, and go ahead and solve for the shear modulus or modulus of rigidity. So G is equal to tau divided by gamma. Our tau is 50,000 Pascal. And our gamma is 0 0.01 radians, which is dimensionless. So Pascal over radians would be uh, also Pascal. So this happens to be actually 50 million or 50 megapascal. And that's a property of this polymer block known as the shear modulus or modulus of rigidity.